And when we discuss defensive line techniques, the reason why we don't use inside shade, outside shade, head up, is because if you're communi communicating on the phones, it's really difficult, obviously, to get everything in on time to obviously talk about the defense. When we discuss defensive line techniques, somebody up top, the offensive line, when they get down to the sideline, off the field, can rattle them off and go very fast. We know exactly what they're talking about, and we get right into it, right on the board like so. Okay, so when we discuss defensive line techniques, all right, we have to start off with the center working out. The first guy that we discuss, obviously, is the person who is head up the center, if we ever see this technique. Okay? Most commonly, it's a nose. Okay, nose tackle, nose guard in an odd front defense, like the 3-5 stack, the 53, the 3-4, 52. Okay, what this technique is called is the zero technique. Okay, head up, nose, sometimes we just call them the zero. Okay, so when we get off to the sideline, everybody knows if he's either a shade or he's head up just by identifying by number. The next, working from the center out, is the outside shade of the center. The outside shade of the center most commonly is a defensive tackle. Okay, Normally you see them in a 4-3 defense, an even front, or a 4-4. Or it could be an odd front with the nose, the zero, shaded. What we commonly refer to this technique as is a one technique. Okay, One technique is an outside shade of the center. Working our way over. Okay, from the outside shade of the center to the inside shade of the guard. Normally speaking, it's a defensive tackle. Normally speaking, it's in an even front defense. By even front, we mean 4-3, four, 4-4, four, four. okay, with four down line. Okay, we had a zero, we have a one. Now we call this technique a two eye. The reason why we give it an eye call is because he's on the inside eye of the offensive guard. Okay, and that's how we label it. Next, we go from inside eye of the guard, to eye, to head up the guard. Again, normally speaking, a defensive tackle. Not seen as much, not seen as often, but usually we see it sometimes against four four fronts. I like to slant this guy to either A gap or B gap. And what we call this is a head up two. Two technique. Okay? So we have a zero, we have a one, two I, and a head up two. Commonly seen technique, outside shade of the guard, okay, is what we call the three technique. Okay, three technique, obviously very popular in most even front defenses, especially obviously the 4 3 and 4 4. Okay? He's playing outside shade of the offensive guard, normally maintaining B gap. All right, so when we get off to the sideline, we ask them, where's the D-tackle playing? Okay, we want them to say, oh, he's in a head-up two, or he's in a three, or he's in a two-eye. We want them to communicate with us with numbers because it's faster. We can write it down faster. We can communicate faster with the guys up top. Okay, moving on down the line. Now we're moving to the tackle. Inside shade of the tackle, okay? Normally, it could be a defensive tackle or it could be a defensive end, depending on the defense, okay? We usually see a lot of 3-4 teams, and that's their defensive end, okay? And this is what we call a 4-I technique, okay? We had a 2-I, which was the inside shade of the guard. We moved to inside shade of the tackle, now he's a 4-I, okay? 2-I, 4-I. Okay? Normally speaking, he's a B-gap defender. Okay? His job is to hopefully not let the guard get off and also not let the tackle get off on the linebacker. When do you usually see a 4-I? Odd front defenses. 3-4, 52, 3-5, 5-3. Okay? Most common. Can they run it in an even defense? They can. Next technique. Head up is we have a zero, we had a two, now we have a four. Four technique. Okay, head up, the offensive tackle. Normally speaking, odd front defenses. Three-five, three-four. The three-five stack is known for this technique. 
Okay? This kid is going to slant this gap or this gap. That's why he's head up. Okay? They don't want him one on one to tackle. They want him to cause havoc and move him. Okay? Which we commonly see with that type of defense. Next is outside shade to tackle. Normally speaking, it's going to be a defensive end most of the time. Okay? Because that's their natural alignment. To the weak side, it's the same thing. If he's outside shade to tackle, with no tight end there, it's still going to be the same exact number. Five technique. Okay, five technique normally used, even front defenses, 4-3, four, 4-4, four, four. and also sometimes in a shaded odd front. Remember earlier we talked about the one technique. The nose could shade this way. They might move this end to outside. Okay, so this is what we call a five technique. Now, this is when it gets a little confusing, however, this is the way it's been called for years and the way basically we use it. There's not a lot of explanation behind what it is, but this is how we communicate. Inside shade the tight end, okay, if you have a tight end in the game. Normally speaking, it's a defensive end, and his technique is a seven technique, okay, inside eye the tight end. I've heard people called it, you know, in the past a six eye, because you have a two eye inside, four eye inside, and six eye. That makes better sense for you. Obviously, you can use it. Okay. Normally speaking, we've always called it a seven. Okay. Which defense? Pretty much, there's only one defense we ever see this against, and it's the four four six two front. Okay. They like to bump this guy down. One of their strongest players. He's their strong end. He's going to take on the tight end. He's going to read the tackles block. Okay, but he's also going to be able to launch on the, on the tight end. A technique we never see, it can be used, but rarely, is a head up on the tight end. Normally speaking, we see a seven or a guy outside. Head up, we're thinking he's slanting. You could call this a bunch of different looks or a bunch of different techniques, but normally it's either a six or an eight technique. Okay, head up two, head up four, head up six. I prefer six, but I have heard some people call it an eight technique depending on, you know, obviously what you're about to see next. And then the final technique, which is common versus tight end looks, is the outside shade of the tight end, which is normally a defensive end. Could be an outside linebacker walked up on the line of scrimmage, which we call a nine technique. Okay. Nine technique, okay, responsible for the outside gap, okay, he's the one that can never get reached, he's the one that has to wrong arm a kick out block, okay, there's a lot of different things the deep, strong defensive end has to do there, or outside linebacker, okay, but that's commonly referred to as a nine technique. In review, okay, if we see a defensive front, and I'll draw up the common 4-3 front real quick, how we communicate this up top is we'll have defensive end here, we'll have defensive tackle here, we'll have three technique here, and a nine technique here. When we get to the sideline, I don't want to hear outside shade, outside shade, I don't want to hear that. We want to hear they are in from the strong side down, a nine, three, one, five. Nine technique, three technique, one technique, five technique. It's quick. Okay, something that you want to hear from up top, makes everything go faster, we could draw it up faster, O-line gets their rules down, know who's they're blocking. Okay?